In this video, we're going to continue our work with thirds and look at addition and subtraction. To begin with, we're going to go back to a bit of algebra. Let's say I had 2p plus 3q minus p plus 5q. We know that we can collect like terms. So I can collect the p's. That's going to give me 2p minus 1p, which is just p. And then we can collect the like terms with the q's and we'd have 8q. So we could simplify this and write this as p plus 8q. We can do the same with thirds. If we have like thirds, we can add or subtract them. What we can do, though, is manipulate the thirds to make them into like thirds if it doesn't initially appear possible. So let's look at some basic rules. If we have the root of a plus the root of a, this is going to give us 2 root a. If I had now five lots of the root of a and I subtracted from it to now, let's say four lots of the root of a, this would give me one lot of the root of a. So all we're doing is adding and subtracting like we would do with our algebraic expressions. So let's go ahead and start off. So this one here, we've got root two plus two root two. Well, that's simply going to give me three lots of root two. Remember, that's just an exact value. If it said, for example, here, now, 6 plus 2 lots of 6, then we'd have 3 lots of 6. On this one right here, we're going to have root 3 plus 3 root 3. Well, that's one of them, plus 3 of them. We're going to have 4 lots of root 3. So that's nice and straightforward. This one, I've got 2 lots of root 2 plus 3 lots of root 2. That's going to give me 5 lots of the root of 2. Remember, the root of 2 is an exact value. We call it exact, a decimal approximation. It's about 1.41. OK, well, let's look at this one. Well, initially, it doesn't look like we can add these because we don't have like thirds. But as we've seen in previous videos, we can simplify the root of 8. We could write the root of 8 as the root of 4 multiplied by the root of 2, which gives me 2 root 2. If that doesn't seem familiar to you, please do go back and check the previous videos. So what we've got here, instead of root 8 plus root 2, we've got 2 root 2 plus 1 lot of root 2, which, of course, is going to give me 3 lots of a root of 2. And that's my answer. So in this one, if we've got root 8 minus root 2, we're doing exactly the same, but we're simply subtracting. So that's going to give me 1 lot of root 2. If we look at the root of 12 minus the root of 3, we've seen that the root of 12 can be simplified. The root of 12 can be written as the root of 4 multiplied by the root of 3, which is going to give me 2 root 3. So the root of 12 is 2 root 3, as we've seen previously. So this just leaves me now 2 root 3 minus 1 lot of root 3, which, of course, is just going to give us root 3. This one just here, now we've got 2 root 5 minus root 5, which will just give us 1 root 5. This is quite a nice one. After a while you'll spot this. This now is 2 to the power of 5, and we could write this now as 4 root 2. If you wanted to see that as the root of 16 multiplied by the root of 2, you could do. And then we're going to subtract away from that 2 root 2, which is going to give us 2 root 2. So nice and straightforward and fairly logical. Um, this one right here, we could write this one as 4 times by 7, so we'll do that one. So this one, we've got 4 root 7 minus, now, the root of 7 multiplied by the root of, and in this one, it's going to be the root of 4. 4 times 7 is 28, so we're going to have 4 root 7 minus 2 root 7, which, of course, is going to give 2 root 7. OK, let's rewrite this one, the root of 500. We could write this as the root of 5, multiplied now by the root of 100, minus the 3 root 5. Well, the root of 100 is 10, so we have 10 root 5 minus 3 root 5, which is just going to give us 7 root 5. So nice and straightforward, fairly logical, if we can convert these into like thirds. So if we have like thirds, we can add and subtract them. OK, so let's do a few more. So this time, they're not as uh, clearly obvious, slightly harder this time. So we've got the root of 18 uh, plus the root of 50. So what we've got here, the root of 18, is the root of 9 multiplied by the root of 2, 
plus now the root of 50, which is going to be the root of 25 multiplied by the root of 2. As you can see, I'm spotting these fairly early on. The more practice you get with them, the easier they become. So this is going to give me 3 lots of root 2. That's going to give me 5 lots of root 2. So we end up now with 8 root 2. You can, of course, go ahead and check that in the calculator. So if you want to do that, root 18, and then we're going to add to this now the root of 50. So let's go ahead and do that, the root of 50, and that is going to give us now the 8 root 2. If we look at this one, this now, 48 is 16 times by 3, so the root of 16 multiplied by the root of 3, minus now 9 times by 3, so the root of 9 multiplied by the root of 3, 4 root 3, minus now 3 root 3, which is just going to give me 1 lot of root 3. If we look at this one right here, this is quite a nice one, we've got now this one here, we know that this is 2 root 2, we've seen this before, so we've got 2 lots of 2 root 2, plus, now this one right here I'm going to write as the, uh, the root of 36 multiplied by the root of 2. 36 times by 2 is 72. Remember, from the last video, you can prime factorise these. If you don't spot the squares, just go ahead and prime factor them. So we've got 4 root 2 plus 6 lots of root 2, which is going to give us 10 root 2. So all we've done is gone ahead and simplified them. OK, if we look at this one right here, this is quite a nice one. This is going to be the root of 36 multiplied now by the root of 10 minus two lots, and we're going to write this as the root of four multiplied by the root of 10. Uh, so again, I've just spotted now that in that we've got a 10, and we had a 10 in the last one, but again, you can prime factor if you like. So this one is going to be six root 10. This one right here, this is going to give me two. Two times two is four, so minus four root 10. And that's going to give me two root 10. It's often nice to check these on a calculator if you want to go ahead and do that. But remember, it will be a non-calculator um, experiment that you will be doing or an exam question. So let's just put this in and just show now that that gives us the 2 root 10. OK, so that's quite nice. Um, uh, let's do this one right here. So this one here, what we've got is 2 root 5. So 2 root 5. Then this one right here is going to be 9 times by 5. So we've got now the root of 9 multiplied by the root of 5. And then we're going to have plus, and we're going to have three lots. This now is the root of four times by the root of five. So the root of four, and then we're going to multiply by the root of five. So two root five minus three root five, and then we're going to have plus. Well, that's going to give me two. Three times two is six, plus six root five. So what's that going to give me? Five root five in total, if I just add those together. So five root five. I'll let you do the last one. Um, just looking ahead at that one, it looks like you can pull six out of each of these and rewrite them. Uh, so there we go, just adding and subtracting like certs. Okay, we're now asked to simplify these. So these ones, we're, again, we're doing some addition and subtraction, but we're going to have to rationalise first. So if we look at this one, what we've got is the following. We've got 2 root 2 minus 2 over root 2. In the video on rationalising, we saw that we could rationalise this denominator of the fraction by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the third. So what we're going to have is 2 root 2. And if we look at this, this is going to give us now 2 root 2 over 2. If that means nothing to you, please do go back and watch the video on rationalising. So we've got 2 root 2. The 2s are going to cancel. Minus 1 lot of root 2 which is just going to give us root 2. Uh, let's choose uh, something that looks slightly uh, slightly more interesting and challenging. Um, let's do this one right here. Okay, what I'm going to do with this one is just take it slightly differently. We could, of course, multiply the numerator and the denominator by the root of 20. I'm just spotting ahead that this now is the root of 5. So what I'm going to do is simplify the root of 20. Now I know that this is the root of 4 multiplied by the root of 5 plus 3 lots of the root of 5. So I know now what I've got here is 2. So this is going to give me 2. So 60 over 2 is 30. So I've got 30 over root 5. All I'm looking to do is simplify. 
root of 4 is 2, 60 over 2 is 30, so we have 30 over 5 plus 3 root 5. I'm now going to rationalise this fraction, multiplying the numerator and the denominator by root 5. We're going to have 30 root 5 over the root of 5 times by root of 5, which is 5, plus 3 root 5. So that gives me now 6 root 5, 30 over 5 is 6, plus 3 root 5, which is going to give me now 9 root 5. So we're going through these. The pace is fairly quick, but hopefully it should, um, it should be fairly uh, sensible and straightforward. Um, let's have a go at one more. Let's do, I mean, that one's just atrocious because we would simply divide by 2, so that's not even simplified. Uh, let's do this one right here. Root of 8 is 2 root 2, so what we've got on this one is 80 over 2 root 2. Just look ahead, you kind of think, well, there's a root 2 there, minus now on this one here, we could write 2 root 2. So we've got 40 over root 2, that's just simplifying here, 80 over 2 minus 2 root 2. So what we're going to have at this stage right now is the following. We can say that this is going to be now multiplying the numerator and the denominator by root 2. I'll do it in one step. It's going to give us now 40 root 2 over 2 minus now the 2 root 2. This is going to be 20 root 2 minus the 2 root 2, which is going to give me 18 root 2. Now, Let's say you didn't go for that approach. Let's say you went for a different approach. Let's say for some reason you said, well, in fact, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And what I'm going to do is write this now as 80 over the root of 8 minus now this is going to be the root of 8. Remember, 2 root 2, we can work this back the other way. So we can unsimplify this and write this now as the root of 8. Multiply numerator and denominator now by the, uh, the root 8, we've got 80 root 8 over 8 minus 1 lot of root 8. So this is going to give us now 10 root 8 minus root 8, which is going to give me 9 root 8. And remember, the root of 8 we could write as 2 root 2, so we've got 9 lots of 2 root 2, which is going to give me 18 root 2. Different way around it, entirely up to you, same answer. So there we go, the addition and subtraction of thirds. I've been through it fairly quickly because hopefully it's just a case of putting a few skills together that we've looked at in previous videos and using some basic techniques of either addition and subtraction or just understanding like terms.